there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Poppy from the Trolls movie. So let's get started. With Poppy, we're going to first start by drawing her hair. So, but right here, we're going to draw a curve. And this is just going to be for one strand of hair that goes across her face right here. And I'm going to bring it in. So just one strand. And then we're going to come to the other side where her hair parts. I'm going to come a little bit lower and we're going to draw another curve that goes the other way. So about right here, I'm going to come down and sweep it out. And so then about right here, we're going to draw another curve for another strand. So about right here, draw another curve. And so now we have this shape right here and we're going to come in here and draw her face. So it's just a nice wide curve like the bottom of a U. So I'm going to start about right here and the other side. So about right here, nice and centered. And we're just going to connect it with a curve. So we'll keep going. finally nice curve at the bottom and connect it and so then from there we can uh, let's finish off this strand of hair right here so I'm going to come up and come back up right there and um, let's finish off the hair so we're going to come about right here I'm going to draw some more strands but let's before we do that let's finish this one so we're going to come up so this is being overlapped we're going to come down here connect that one strand and then come out here about right here and we're going to draw another strand and so let's go to the other side so right here we're going to come about to the same level on this side right here so just give yourself a point and we're going to draw another curve so we're going to come down as well and draw another strand in and so then from there, we're going to draw a band that goes over her head. And so we're just going to come up about right here on both sides. So let's come to the center. Let's give ourselves a center point. And so we're going to draw a curve. So you've given yourself these three points. We're going to connect it now. So we know that's nice and centered for the band that goes on top of her head. And then we're going to come up. So come up about right here on both sides. And we're going to connect it once more. So just follow the bottom. So let's go up. So she has these flowers on her hair. I mean on this band. But I'm going to draw them a little bit later. I just wanted to show you how you would draw this if you're using a pencil. So just to make it a little bit easier. So you would draw this band. And then from there, let's draw her hair. So we're going to come up right here. We're going to pop out a curve. So it's getting even bigger because <laughs> she has this troll hair that's pretty awesome. So we're just going to, it's like a big bulb. So we're going to come up. So just go step by step. So you're making sure that it's nice and even. Keep going. So we're going to come and taper it in. So got this shape, and now we're going to flare it out. So nice flare out. So another curve on this side. And then come in here and just draw all these little zigzags just to simulate that nice, soft, foofy uh, troll hair. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in here, random zigzags. as many or as little as you want and then just connect it. So we got that nice poofy hair and then from there we can um, just come in here. Uh, we'll draw the flowers first then. So then, well, hmm, <laughs> let's draw the ears first. So sorry about that. So let's come here and we're going to pop out these ears right here on the side. It's just a big old curve. 
And so just come over to the other side. So just make sure it's about the same height. And you're going to end at about the same level. So just come about it's nice and big too on the other side. And then from there, some details. So we're just going to draw a curve and then another curve going the other way and coming in. So same thing on this side, curve, and then come in with another curve the opposite way. So then finally, let's bring her to life before we finish up more details. So right here with Poppy, she has these little cute flat troll nose. So let's draw that first so then we can anchor her, her eyes a little bit better. So come to the center towards the bottom. Uh, towards the middle I mean and come down a little bit and we're going to draw a little curve so right in the center draw a little curve and then we're going to draw another curve a little deeper on both sides and then a bigger curve at the bottom for a little troll nose and so then from there we're able to gauge where we should put our eyes so on top right here we're going to draw a circle, some nice big circles. So I'm making my troll eyes a little bit bigger. So on this side right here, draw another circle. And we're going to make them draw so cute eyes. So two circles at an angle, curve line at the bottom, and then the lines at the bottom and shade in the top. And let's do the same thing over here. So two small circles at an angle, curve line at the bottom, shade in the top. Just cut into my circle and the lines at the bottom. And so then let's draw in the lashes. So right here, we're gonna pop out three lashes. They're pretty thick and kind of close together. So and then same thing on this side. One, two, and three. And so um, if I'm going too fast, please just pause the video. I hope I'm not. I'm trying to make it nice and easy for you guys to follow along. And so from there, let's go on top right here and we're gonna draw a curve for her eyebrow. Come back up here and make it thicker. So just add a curve right there and then connect it. So you come back in here, fix the hair. And then from there, let's draw her cute little smile. So from there, um, oh, before we do that, let's draw these um, eyes um, right here. Below the eye, we're gonna draw a very, very light curve just to set her eyes in because she has these really cute troll cheeks. So just very lightly. And then from there, we're gonna draw another curve right here next to the nose. So about right here, we're gonna draw a curve on both sides. So you see how it creates this cheek area? Fix the eye right there. So it creates this little cheek area. And then we're gonna connect it with a curve for a big old smile. So let's see here. I'm gonna start from the center so I can see a little bit better. And connect it for a cute little smile. <laughs> so there are Poppy from the Trose movie. And so from there, let's finally draw the flowers in her, um, I guess it's a crown, right? So um, towards right here where her hair parts, and we'll move over here a little bit. We're going to draw these uh, flowers. So I'm going to come in the middle of this hair band and I'm going to draw a big petal, just one. So later I will be going in there on the computer and erasing that. But this is totally how you would do it if you were using a pencil. So I'm going to draw another one right here. Two and three. I'm going to come in here, some center lines. And then come in here and pop out three thinner ones. And these are supposed to be the leaves. 
And then, so we're gonna put uh, another flower right here, so towards the edge, once again, one big petal, two, and three. So a lot of you are always asking me, why do you use your Sharpie? Why aren't you using a pencil? <laughs> and the reason is because um, I use a Sharpie because it's just much easier for me to show you how to draw it. It's dark and it's much easier for you to be able to see what I'm doing. And it's not all sketchy and confusing. <laughs> just nice solid lines. So from here, um, we're gonna draw another one. So come about right here. And for some reason, this flower, has four petals, so we're just gonna draw four right here. But by all means, because um, this doesn't mean you have to use a Sharpie, just because I'm using a Sharpie. Definitely use a pencil first, and then you can go back in there and outline it with a Sharpie or any marker, or anything that you want. So another one right here. So there, we got our flowers in. And then let's come in here and we're gonna draw some curves. And so these curves, we're, they're gonna come from this band. They're gonna, just gonna follow. It's just gonna follow um, the hairline, I mean the hair. We're just gonna make some are longer. And then when you come to this side, go the other way. So this is just to make the hair look like it has volume. So this one is a little bit too and then just taper it off. And so there, got her hair in. So, need to nicely taper it off. <laughs> and so there, okay, so now let's draw her outfit. So finally, at least this part's pretty simple. So we're gonna come um, right here in the center and we're gonna draw a V. This is for her neckline. And then from there, on each side, we're gonna draw an angle line that comes down. And so then from there, let's, um, let's make her dress a little bit longer. So come down a little bit more and then connect it. Nice curve. And from there, we're going to um, draw this little tab um, that goes over on one side. So continue this line, go around and bring it back up. And then there's a little, I think it's a button. So I'm just gonna draw a little rectangle right there. And for some details, come to the center of this dress. Just give yourself a point, another one and another one nice and even and we're just going to connect it one two and then continue this out and then from there we can draw some more detail so here is just these petals just three of them right at the center so another one right here one two three and last one so the center one is a little bit bigger and then the smaller ones and so then from there let's draw her hand so one hand is kind of on her hip so we're going to come out right here a little bit and we're going to draw her hand so come out following it from the bottom and this one is going to curve in so we're going to come about right here curve it in so let's continue this lower one. I'm just gonna go into her dress. And then from right here, we're gonna add a curve right the bottom and connect it. So pretty simple, right? So it just looks like her hand is just nicely on her hip. <laughs> and so then this hand, I'm just having it come out. So once again, we're gonna come out about right here, draw a curve, just gonna go out. So continue this as if where her armpits would be. And follow. So come out with one thumb. And then, I mean a finger, <laughs> a thumb, and a thumb. And connect it. And then finally her leg. So find the center, and we're gonna draw a straight line down. 
So let's see here. Bring it down a little bit more for her legs. So we're going to come on this side, draw an angle on both sides. Bring it down just a little bit straighter now. And we're going to start to draw her feet. So it's going to flare out at an angle. And then from there, we're going to come down here, here and we draw a curve to connect back into that center line. And we're going to draw three more curves. So these are her toes. One, two, and three. So same thing on this side. So one big one, two, and connect it. So I got the four in there. And so um, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's our uh, Poppy from the Trolls movie. Um, definitely plan to go see it and hope you will too. And let me know if you see it before me, what you thought of the movie. And I hope you like how I drew Poppy and I made it easy for you to follow. Uh, please, if you like this uh, drawing, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.